I'm here today with uh, Ryan Allenby. Ryan, you came to me for help with some anxiety. Yes. Right? Let's talk specifically about the anxiety that you felt around going shopping and shopping malls and grocery stores. Why don't you talk about how you used to feel and then you can talk about how it has been for you lately. Okay. I used to feel very anxious and I felt like I couldn't go shopping and it would feel like a tightness in my chest. And every time I would go with my mom, I would grab onto her and not be able to do anything by myself. But after this, I feel like I can do this by myself and I have been able to. And it's something I haven't felt in five or six years or even longer. So in five or six years, did you ever have an occasion where you were in a shopping mall or a grocery store or any store where you felt completely calm? No. Never? Never. And how many times have you, well, the, the most recent time that you went, was that a grocery store or a shopping mall? A uh, grocery store. And, and what was your anxiety level? Zero. Zero. Good. And how many times has that happened since you and I have been working together? I think about five since I've gone. Okay, perfect. There were other areas of life as well, though, where you felt anxiety. Yes. It wasn't just in the, shop, the shopping situation, right? Yeah. So why don't you talk about one of those? Specifically, let's talk about school. Okay. Yeah. Um, I felt very anxious going to school because I'm going to college in the fall. And every time I used to talk about school, I would break down in tears. But since I've been coming here, I've felt very calm about the situation. And I've applied to several schools and I was even putting off an application and the day that I saw you I did the application and I submitted it yeah that day the very first day and that's something that you've been procrastinating on for some time yeah yeah awesome and you've already had you said you had a class a zoom class or something yes and you were historically you would have been really anxious yeah I did the class before a couple of years ago and I felt very anxious the whole class and leading up to the class but this class it went by in no time, I felt no anxiety towards it. Okay. The other thing that you felt anxiety about was living in residence. Yes. How do you feel about that now? I feel ready to live in residence, I'm very calm towards it. Good, good. Where was that anxiety coming from? Uh, I felt too old to be living in residence and everyone else would be so much younger than me. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked that because I remember you telling me that. You also were able to reframe that, weren't you? Yeah. So you said that one of um, your friends or a friend of a friend had mentioned that when she went to college and was in residence, she was older than the other kids, but that actually made it easier for her. Yeah, that helped me a lot. And... Well, re that's what I talked to you about is that's a reframe. Yeah. The reframe is you felt anxiety because you felt like you were too old. And when somebody said, well, wait a minute, I was your age and it actually made it easier for me. You accepted that information in, and then you created a new reality around that new information. The old you would not have accepted that. No. The old you would have taken that statement from this person, and it would have bounced off you, or it went, it went over your head. You would have probably not even heard it, and if you did hear it, you wouldn't have given it enough attention. The way that you think now is you're more open to possibility. So you're able to create a reframe, and that's what you did. You reframed that situation and thought, well, if that person is more comfortable and calm and, and they, there's positive things that came from being older, then maybe I can model myself after that person and I can adopt those ways of thinking. I know that you didn't go through that entire process really consciously. What I'm suggesting is that you did it unconsciously because we've installed those things in you through the work that we've done. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you did. It's a classic reframe. Okay. I have a seminar coming up uh, June, I think it's the end of June. We haven't booked solid dates yet for high school kids or for people like yourself that have taken a little bit of time off after high school that are going to be going to school in September. What would you say to somebody who's watching this video or to a parent that has a child that is feeling some anxiety about that next phase of their life? What would you say to those people about considering signing up for my weekend seminar so that they can experience some of the calmness and the empowerment that you're feeling? Uh, I would say that they should definitely look into it. It's, it made a huge change. And even after one session, it, I noticed a huge change and they should consider it. Yeah. So imagine what happens after two full days, a Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. You should consider coming to that. I will. Yeah. I'll let you know the dates. If it works into your schedule, I'd love to see you there. I'd love to be there. Awesome. Okay. That's it. Thanks very much, Ryan. Thank you. This is going to help so many people.